I'm lucky to come out of that trade with my shirt. You drive a hard bargain. Hey Paul, guess what? We took your shirt too. Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Shelter. Let's hop down into the bunker with the Punchwood family. We have survived so far for 71 days. Let us continue where we left off. And I have pretty much done nothing off camera with the exception of a bit of repair work around the shelter, and everything should be good to go. Let me just double check. Oh yeah, pretty much everything other than the uh, generator. So let's throw, um, throw Barbara on that job, and now let us set up an expedition. So let's see, who are we gonna take this time? How about we go with Eric? And Diane, they look like they're in pretty good shape right now. We got water coming down, so the butts ought to be filled. So let's not waste any time. Let's get this expedition rolling. We're gonna go to uh, back down to the city down here to the southwest. I forget the name of it, but we haven't been down there in a while. Eric, we're putting you on point so you can learn what to do. Diane's gonna show you the ropes. There we go. So we got two peeps. Uh, Brook Borough, that's the one. So we have a couple of shacks we can stop at on the way down there. Ooh, three shacks. I missed that one. Uh, one, two, three. That'll potentially load us up on some more ammunition. And we're after rubber and, uh, and lenses, right? So rubber, I'm thinking the schools. I know there's a school down here. Lots of houses, too. So how about if we, uh, let's see. Let's hit the pharmacy first, and then here's the school. Okay, yeah, and then this house, and that house, and then on the way back. Whew! That is quite the trick. Alright, now we just have to equip them, and we're going to give them the standard loadouts here. Hopefully we uh, get a loadout button eventually. Favorite loadouts is something that the developers are actually thinking about. They did mention that. I'm going to give Eric the uh, binoculars. And how about Eric gets a shotgun and five shotgun shells to keep himself out of trouble. And we're going to use uh, gas masks because we're running a little low on the anti-rads, I think. So we might as well use them. We do have them here available. No sense in um, not using them. I'm going to give Diane the rifle. Five rounds of ammunition. And I think we're going to give Diane the uh, the vest. The good bulletproof vest. Since she is a an extremely valued asset to the family. Uh, more so than Eric, anyway. And we're going to give her, um, the group four cordite for trade purposes. And that's good. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Everything? Yeah, let's go. Go, go, go. It's still raining. Good. Because they're taking a lot of water with them. I didn't happen to look, but yeah, wow, about half the water almost. Okay, Dad. Dad, go punch the sack, would you? Whack the sack down there in the rec room. And Barb, why don't you go read a book? There you go. Get smart. Um, And I think we're going to have little Sarah here put the lights out. Eric has to check on that when he gets back. I thought he fixed this electrical issue, but apparently not. Dad, are you done punching the sack? Whack it again, man. All right, we've got an incoming radio transmission. It's Diane. They're at the shack. The first one, check it out. And I'm just going to hit speed button here. Fast forward. Uh, oh, there's nobody there. Lovely. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of crowbars. And we have some ammunition, which is great. Two of them get one extra round. Shell and a, uh, a rifle round. Awesome. Let's grab it all and go. Uh, so dark over here, but as I had said in the past, we don't want to use up all of our wires. We can't right now because we need the wires for, the, for upgrades. Looks like Chris is trying to get Dad up out of bed. Chris, leave him alone. Hey, Mom, go punch the bag, would you? Train up them muscles. Somebody get the phone. Eric to Dad. We've crossed paths with someone here, and there's nothing we can do about it. So, oh, it's mountain people. Mountain person. It's Christine. All right, Eric, why don't you do the talking? 
Let's get the shotgun trained on her. Only fighters and dead left now, so you knew where this was going. Oh, you want to fight, girl? All right, Christine, let's see what you got. <laughs> Diane, don't waste any ammo. She just has a knife. Just subdue this poor girl. She's dazed. All right, well, she's she doesn't know which way is up. So, uh, Eric, run up and smash her. There we go. Okay. Take her stuff. We don't really need to kill Christine. Eric's strength and dexterity have gone up. Lovely. Good training. Good good training exercise there. Thanks to Christine for getting in our way. The stinking mountain people. Barbara's cleaning up the dog poo. Mom's whacking the sack. Everything's looking good. It's par for the course here in the shelter. Oop, hold on. There's people at the shack. All right, well, get in there. A people at the shack. It's Shirley. She doesn't even have any weapons. Shirley, you jest. Can I help you with something? And what the heck do you think you're looking at? Oh, she wants to fight too. Oh my gosh, really? All right, more training. You know what to do. Oh, Diane's going to go first. No need to kill. Doesn't even have any weapons, this poor Shirley. Oh, down. Plop. All right, take her stuff. <laughs> Diane's strength's gone up a bit. Nice. All right. And let's see what's in that shack, shall we? Oh, good, good. Next trip. Oh, a tire! Nice. We got some bullets for the guns that they're carrying, which is lovely, and a tire for our, our RV, which, hello? Somebody got something. Oh, it's probably mom working out. Okay. Um, mom, you, she's still not even tired yet. How about you go train some more? Yeah, I just want to check the vehicle. We have two tires right now. Two tear rays. Good. Now we have three, as long as they can get back alive with them. What's dad doing? He's snoozing. I want to get him on the sack, too. Barbara's giving mom some pointers on how to whack the sack. Oh, it's raining again. Nice. Good. And it's good rain. And who do we have here? Kimberly. Kim, come on down here. But wait, 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 wait. Let me get the phone first. All right. They see the shack. Get over there. Oh, come, come, Kim, come down. Yes. Good, good, good. Look, Kim's here. Maybe she'll trade. We have a lot of good stuff to trade. Here she comes. Her khakis, her khaki cargo pants on, a nice rust-colored sweater. Uh, let's, let's go respond to Kimberly. Hello in there. Would you happen to need anything? Yes. Yes. Rubber. You don't have any rubber. Or lenses, actually. I think we need lenses, too. But the, the um, recycle bins are awesome. We need the plastic. Ooh, she's cheap. Kimberly, you're cheap. All right, Kimberly. That looks good to us. Fair trade? Yeah. Good. All right. Adios. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Chris, get the phone. Oh, no, there's strangers at the shack. Approach them cautiously. Get your guns in the ready position. Guns in the ready position. It's Anna with a sledgehammer. All right, uh, let's have Eric do the talking here. Oh, she would like to trade. Okay, I'm looking for a few things if you're interested. All I got left are my weapons and a heck of a headache. All right, then. I guess she doesn't want to trade. That's fine. Let's just get inside that shack, then. And, oh, another rifle round. Robber! Yeah, baby. Lots of shotguns for trading purposes. All right, looking mighty fine. Let's go. And we had a trader pass by today. Yada, yada, yada. Day 72. All right. Water's at max capacity. That's lovely. And, oh, they're in town. They've stumbled across a pharmacy. Yeah, Diane, go check that out. Chris is fixing up the toilet. He's been taking lessons in uh, plumbing from um, Eric. It's still raining out. That's lovely. Full water butts. And Chris, you know what? Take a quick nap while the bed's available. Dad, get the phone. Somebody in the pharmacy. Well, we got to get in there. We need anti-radiation pills. Don't take no for an answer. Oh, it's Brenda with a lovely bun uh, on her head and a knife. She would like to trade. Looking for a few things. All I got is my weapons and a heck of a headache. Yeah, we heard that today once before. 
One of those days, I guess. Alright, let's get inside the pharmacy. Oh! One anti-radiation. Okay, do we have nails? We do. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of the matches. I don't really need the matches. There we go. Alright, continue on. So, one anti-radiation pill. Diane and Eric are at the school. See what they got. We need rubber. And not a single piece of rubber inside at the school? Why, kids don't make mistakes at this school? Nonsense. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, shucks. Let's get rid of the cement. I don't need that. I definitely want the wires, and I want that plastic. Ooh, Mom, getting stronger down there. Nice. Keep punching. You're not done working out yet, Mom. Oh, dexterity went up, too. How awesome is that? Hey, uh, Sarah, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? No, 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 no. I need you to fix the filters. And then you can take a nap, okay? We are at the large petrol station. Rubber! Woohoo! Plastic. Nice. Lots of petrol, of course. And, uh-oh. Tough decisions. Tough decisions. But I think we did the right thing there. I gave up one can of food so I could carry five petrol. Gotta have the petrol to keep the electricity on. Oh, wait, they're back. Small house. Yeah, sure. Hopefully we can find some, uh, some pencil rubber there. Mom, keep smacking that sack, would ya? She's getting tough down there. Dad's gonna whack that sack in a few minutes. But Dad, why don't you catch up on some Z's? Because you are gonna be training in a moment. Items in the house. Uh, no rubber, but we have plastic. I hate to drop one of my shotguns because these are gonna make good trade bait. But nobody wants to trade today. Everybody has a headache. So I guess we'll drop the shotgun. <laughs> Sooner or later, somebody will trade with us. We're good people. We don't want to keep knocking you clowns out. We want to trade. Hey, Chris, when you're done eating, if you could pick up all those empty food cans, that would be lovely. Water is at max storage once again. Awesome. Day 73. And I think I'm going to speed it up a little. Nope, we don't have to. Found a large house. Really? Where the heck are they? Wait. Did we do the scrapyard yet? Oh no, I, did I miss it? Aw, oh, dude. Speed it up. I think I missed... Oh, yeah, I think I missed the scrapyard. Shucks. I was too busy directing people around the shelter. Oh, who's this guy? Shirtless Paul. <laughs> Alright, Paul wants to trade. Paul, do you have a headache? The good soldier needs to be prepared. Why, you're lucky I found your dumb butt out here before it's too late. Oh, good. Good. Okay, no headache. You'd like to trade. We'd like to trade with you too, Paul, but you don't have anything we want. Well, Paul doesn't really have anything that we're that interested in. However, it is good to make a trade so that Eric can, uh, can learn from this experience. So we're just going to do a battery for a battery. And we have a little extra left over because his battery is not worth as much as my battery for some reason. Maybe it's dead. Um, so we get, we're getting a valve out of it as well. Yeah, we drove a hard bargain. I'm lucky they come out of that trade with my shirt. You drive a hard bargain. Hey, Paul, guess what? We took your shirt, too. <laughs> That's awesome. And we got a little bit of charisma upgrade. Nice. Oh, Barbara's laughing her butt off over that one. She's like, ha, 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 that Paul. Thanks for sharing. Large house, sure. No rubber. Plastic is nice. That's nice. It's all nice. Albums. We have albums. Alright. We're done at the house. Keep moving. Chris. Chris is feeling great right now. Why don't you go punch the bag, young man? All right, hold up. Police station, check it out. There's nobody here? Wow. A little extra ammo. Uh, we definitely want the gas mask because gas, ma gas masks require rubber to make. And I hate to spend rubber right now on anything. So let us, oh man. 
Uh, we'll drop the pistol, since it's really just for trade. Oh, we need the lens. Badly, 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 badly. Yes, we need that lens. All right, I think that's good. I have a feeling one of these days we're going to need lots of fuses for some sort of an upgrade. So I'm going to dump the bulbs for the fuses. And I think that's everything. So I had to drop the teddy bears to make room for the, uh, the first aid kit. But we still have a shotgun here for trade just in case we bump into somebody that wants to trade and has something like rubbers. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, radio transmission. It is Eric to base. There are people here at the factory. Go give them some what for. It's one people. Jennifer, she's got a baseball bat. Eric, do the talking here. He's a handsome man, talker right now. Need anything or got something you want to sell? A good soldier needs to be prepared. Well, you're lucky I found your dumb button out here. Okay, we've heard that before too. But at least she wants to trade. Okay, we'll give you a valve for your nylon and your nail. Okay, you can keep your antibiotics. Good deal, thanks, Jennifer. Yeah, hard bargain. No, we didn't take your shirt, girl. Jeez. Keep that shirt on, all right? PG rated show here. Oh, they're back. Large factory. They're inside. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hinges. Oh, factory is stacked. Love it, it. Plastic. Ooh, this is nice. Nails. Fuse. We have all these things, right? Uh, don't have those. Not carrying those anymore. Cordite we dropped. Okay. Looking good. Oh, that's nice. All right. So four rubber right now. The wires and the hinges are going to be nice, too, for other upgrades, but really the lens, lenses and rubber is what we're after right now, mostly for the workbench upgrade. Okay, good. Good haul. And I think we're going to send, um, I'm going to send Barb out. Dad, go punch the bag. Hold on, get the phone. Large pharmacy. Yeah, 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 you know what to do. Hold on, let's get Sarah inside. Return the suit, Sarah. You done good, kiddo. Um, why don't you go fix that? Okay. Let's send Barb out right now. We have five anti-radiation. Hold on. Someone on the phone again. You guys. Can't you just do something on your own? Eric to base. We found somebody in the large pharmacy. Okay. If we find some anti-radiation tablets in here, we're going to send Barbara off. Um, somewhere with some, with some anti-radiation. So it's Joyce. And she would like to trade. Unless she has a headache. You come charging up to me with that? What? Jeez, Eric. I thought you were a ladies' man. Apparently not. Get in there. Oh, look at all the gas masks. Nice. No rubber, though. Alright, guys. I'm going to pass up on the rope because we do have 20 back at the shelter. And I want to hang on to this shotgun for trading. Just in case. We bump into someone with some rubber or lenses because it's still a long trek back home. So that's what we're going to do. Dad, you ain't done whacking that bag, man. Get in there. And what now? Medium house. Okay. I want to send Barb out now that we have a few uh, more um, bottles of anti-radiation coming back. We might as well do it. So let's do that. And we have rain coming too. Oh boy, hold on. Examine the item in the house. Ooh, fuses, wood, leather, paint cans. Wow, five paint cans. I'm glad I hung on to those paint cans. We'll be able to paint the entire shelter now. Mom's going to be so happy. Woohoo. Uh, anyway, okay, let's get back to Barbara. <laughs> Dad, with the increased strength. On second thought... I'm not sending Barbara anywhere because we don't have any ammunition for her. I don't want to send her off with an axe by herself. All right, so sorry, Barb. I know she's getting stir crazy here in the house, but um, I don't want to send her off without a weapon, a proper weapon. Day 74. 
I think now we can speed things up and get everybody home. Sarah, you want to feed the dog? I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. Oh, oh wow. Oh, they're back. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Only one encounter on the way back, and it was just somebody that wanted to join us, but I said no. And they're looking good. All right, no, no radiation poisoning because they had gas masks on. And dump those backpacks out. It's just like Halloween, coming home with all the candy, dumping it on the floor. And uh, take stock. How awesome. You guys have earned your meals with dirty fingers. Diane, really? At least Eric was smart enough to jump in the shower first. Diane has food poisoning. I knew it. What did I tell you, Diane? Arr. Glad that nobody got seriously hurt in that exchange. Yeah, we didn't hurt any. We didn't kill anyone on that trek. Only knocked out a couple of people. All right, guys. Everyone is now back safe and sound here at the shelter. It's day 75. We've got Diane and Eric in bed after that long, very fruitful trek. And uh, in the next episode, we'll have Eric go install the tire. Actually, you know what? Dad's feeling like he should be able to do that. He knows Eric is the handyman. But you know what? Dad's going to put that tire on right now. <laughs> He's feeling a little left out. Get up there, Dad. And then we'll call it quits for the time being. And let's just take a look at the uh, upgrade here for the workbench. We need five more rubbers, two more lenses, and we'll be able to get to tier four items. So in the next episode, we'll head down south to Bay Kirk and see if we can find what we need. There's a school down there, a bunch of houses. We should be able to get everything. All right, Dad, here's your chance to add some parts. Let's see if he knows what to do. Hold on. He's never changed a tire in his life. All right, I'm, I'm going to check now, Dad, and make sure you put it in the right spot. He did. Okay, good job. <laughs> so we need one, two, three, four, five more parts for our camper van. And then we can go camping, everybody. Take a little vacation. All right, let's get Dad back inside. And then we'll, uh, we'll call it a full episode. And we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye. And here's Di poor Diane. I'm going to start throwing up all over the place. All right, somebody grab him up. Sarah.